Hi, I'm Matt. Welcome to eSpares. In this video, I'll be replacing the drain hose on this Bosch washing machine. If your washing machine has developed a leak from the drain hose, or if it's split or damaged, it will need to be replaced. Always work safely. Disconnect the appliance before you start the repair. To find the right spare for your model, look inside the door and grab the model details. Then go to the eSpares website and order the correct part. At the back of the machine, to make it easier to access the drain hose, I'm going to remove this back panel by undoing the one Torx head screw at the bottom. Make sure you hold on to the panel as it will drop down. Once the screw is removed, simply lift the panel out the way. The drain hose goes into the back of the machine here and is held in place by a clip at the top and also these two clips lower down. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the clip at the top. You can just use your fingers to pull it away from the machine or you can use a flat headed screwdriver if you need to. Next, I need to remove these two lower clips. Again, I'm just going to use my fingers, but you may find a pair of pliers is much easier. Mark the hose with a marker pen so you know how much goes inside the machine. I'm going to lay the washing machine on its back, being careful as it is heavy. Drop the filter cover down and unclip it from the bottom. And then to remove the kick plate, I need to undo one Torx head screw and then shift the kick plate to the right and remove. Once you remove the kick panel, just take out the emergency drain hose. One more Torx head screw holding the pump chamber on here. Take out and then tilt the pump chamber back to release. Pull it out to access the drain hose. Now I've just put a towel on the floor as I need to remove the drain hose from the pump chamber and there might be quite a bit of water in the drain hose. I'm going to use a pair of pliers to remove the Jubilee clip and on this machine it's essential that you remove the Jubilee clip completely. The machine's now upright again as I can pull the drain hose out, remove the clips and fit those onto our new hose. I can now remove the clips from the old hose and fit them on to our new hose. These clips simply prise apart and then wrap round. Making sure that the hoses are at the same length, I'll just transfer this marking from the old hose over to the new hose. If you've seen enough to be able to put it back together on your own, then please remember to go to the eSpares website and get the right part. And also please subscribe to our channel. For the rest of us, let's carry on. Feed our new hose into the machine. up to the black mark we made earlier. To fit the clip, make sure that this little lip goes inside the machine at the bottom, like so, and then you just pinch the top to, to get it in place, nice and firmly. Now I need to just reposition these clips 
into the back of the cabinet from the inside. Being very careful not to cut yourself on any sharp pieces. I can now refit the back panel. Lay the machine onto its back one more time. Fit the new hose onto the pump chamber. And then position the Jubilee clip over the end. Refit the pump chamber to the front of the cabinet, just making sure that the lip at the top goes outside. That should ensure that the screw hole lines up. To refit the kick panel, I'm just going to push the emergency drain hose through. And then there's two clips on the far left that just slot into the cabinet. And then before you slot the right hand side in, just make sure to lift up this, which is the emergency door release and push that through. And then fit these two clips on the far right into position. You can then fit the screw, which holds the kick panel in place. Refit the cover and clip it in place. And then simply lift the machine up again and connect. There we have it. How to replace a drain hose on a Bosch washing machine. Please give this video a thumbs up if we've helped you and subscribe for more handy how-to videos. Find all the spares and accessories you will ever need on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.